Here we go. Got it. Awesome. Well, do you, do you oh, want you me to get I'm sorry? Um, you see it on your side? My computer's moving a little slow. I, I do, yes. Okay, perfect. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the webinar. So today, um, we have an amazing webinar. We have Ms. Angela Gardner, who is our business development manager for Virgin Voyages. And so today, we're going to, um, of course, still touch on the Virgin Voyages brand, but we're going to also take a little dive into groups as well as all of the updates that Virgin Voyages has, okay? So, Ms. Angela, how are you today? I am fantastic. How are you doing today? I am doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for being able to jump on last minute for this. Um, we're excited, and we can't wait to see everything that you have to share with us. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and thank you, everyone, uh, for hopping on today to I take a, a deeper dive into all things Virgin Voyages. We'll go through just a basic overview, but then we'll dive into groups, our sailors, as well as our, our current promotions that we have going on. So um, if you do have any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, but I always like to kick things off just with a, a fun little video just to set the tone. So this is uh, this is actually something that you have available to download if you want to share this with your uh, your audience. Virgin Voyages says we can't cruise till we're 18, which makes us sh sh shake. <laughs> always love that video because it really shows you know that are the whole exclusively adult experience with that you know iconic virgin voyages and virgin style cheekiness and humor but for those of you who don't know a lot about us we are Richard Branson's cruise line so like all of his virgin brand companies we always strive to just make those ordinary experiences extraordinary so we actually did years of research to find out what truly resonated with our sailors and what we could do a bit differently um, and what kind of rules we could bend or break to really provide our sailors with something that has never been done before in the world of sailing. And since we launched just over two years ago, we've won countless awards from within the travel industry from our amazing travel advisors. But especially this past year, we've gotten a ton of awards uh, from our sailors who have voyaged with us. So if you don't uh, if you're not already including these in your conversations with your potential sailors, this is certainly something that you should leverage in all of those conversations because our sailors are coming on board and having an incredible time. And we are uh, an amazing, an amazing award-winning cruise line. So most recently, Virgin Voyages was named the number one large cruise ship in the Condé Nast Awards, uh, something that we're incredibly proud of. Uh, earlier uh, in the summer, we were also the number one travel and leisure readers of five favorite mega ship ocean cruise lines of 2023. And within uh, the, the cruise lines, we are actually the only cruise line to have a score in the 90s from those awards. Earlier this year, it's not new news, but we're still uh, singing it from the, the rooftops, is the Cruise Critics Cruiser's Choice Awards. So we actually are... Uh, the first history in their awards to have a clean uh, sweep of the awards within our category. So within the large ship category, we won best overall cruise line, best dining, best cabins, best uh, value for money, best service. Um, so all things that are incredibly important to sailors when they're choosing their next vacation. We've also won a lot of other awards since then. So if you go on to firstmates.com, uh, we do have a, a page dedicated to all of our accolades that we have won. So certainly something that you should be including in all those conversations with your sailors. So high level, this is a question I get all the time from first mates, as well as our uh, sailors who uh, are just learning about us. So they know that we're different. They know that we're new. But what does it mean really to set sail the Virgin way? So we're really that fresh approach to cruising. You can really liken us to a boutique hotel experience 
at sea. Uh, so we do things a bit differently than the traditional cruise line, but in the best of ways. So as the video you saw suggested, we are exclusively adults. So our sailors have to be at least 18 years of age to voyage with us. And while we love our kids, this holiday is for your sailors. We do provide them ample opportunity to reconnect with their child, just in that elevated, exclusively adults environment. We're also all about that relaxed lux, which means set sail as you are. So at Virgin Voyages, we are extremely inclusive. We love all of our sailors. They just have to be at least 18 years of age to sail. And while your sailors, if they just want to come on board and have a laid back, relaxing vacation and dress casually, uh, they can dress to the nines and go all out. We love that too. We don't have any forced formality, no preset dining times. Your sailors can come on board and really create their own adventure and their own vacation when they voyage with us. So some important points of differentiation. This is really what sets us apart from the traditional cruise line. Uh, so of course, exclusively adults. If you have sailors that are not sailing with their children or they're not sailing with kids, regardless if they've previously booked uh, land-based vacations or cruises, we should always be a consideration because uh, if you're not sailing with your kids or grandkids, you really don't want to sail with somebody else's kids either. Uh, we've really become uh, been known as really that foodie experience at sea uh, with our food and drink program. We've got amazing restaurants on board. Uh, we've got drinks that match our amazing menus as well. We've won countless awards for dining. So uh, that certainly sets us apart in our approach to dining, which I'll talk about just shortly. Inclusivity. We love all of our sailors. Uh, you know, we have sailors of all ages, all backgrounds on board. There really is a little bit of something for everyone. And it is truly an amazing and incredible experience uh, being on board with all of these really amazing and unique sailors and where you all really coexist. And really, we've become to known for is our crew service. We have some truly amazing crew on board. Uh, we Really, uh, Richard Branson's philosophy is just treating your crew really well, taking care of them, because in turn, they're going to take care of our amazing sailors. So we allow our crew to be themselves. You're going to see some of them. They may have tattoos. They may have piercings. But the thing that really resonates with our sailors, as well as their first mates, is their personalities truly shine through. Uh, you really get to know our crew um, and really who they are and their and unique personalities. And that's something I have first mates and sailors that voyage with us uh, a couple of years ago, and they still remember the names of those uh, amazing crew members that made their voyage truly special. And something else that does set us apart from the traditional cruise experience is our always included luxury. So at Virgin Voyages, we do not believe in nickel and diming. Uh, we include over $600 in value per person whenever your sailors book a voyage with us. So it doesn't matter what cabin they're booked in. It doesn't matter what voyage or itinerary that they're booked on. They're going to have these amazing inclusions in any voyage that they can book. So all of our food is included. We have over 20 eateries on board, including six specialty dining restaurants, all included at no upcharge to your sailors to dine at any of those restaurants. We also believe that Wi-Fi is a basic human right, so there is free Wi-Fi for everyone. Uh, those essential drinks as well. Your sailors do not have to purchase soda packages. Why? Because our sodas are included, along with your filtered and still sparkling water, uh, non-pressed juices, basic teas, and drip coffee. We have unlimited group fitness classes. We have everything from yoga, spin classes, hit classes. I was just on board the ship last week. We even have Zuma classes on board now. So if your sailors want to get in that amazing workout, we've got some state-of-the-art fitness centers that are open to all of our sailors uh, at no cost, but those group fitness classes are included on us as well. Our shows and entertainments, as well as tips and gratuities. So if your sailors are looking at you know, a few different vacation options, you always want to educate them about the always included luxury, all those amazing inclusions that we're including in all of our voyages, uh, because if they're just looking at price, uh, they're not comparing those apples to apples.
So something that we become really uh, well known for is having those epic, exper epic experiences at sea, especially when it comes to the dining experience. So at Virgin Voyages, we've partnered with Michelin star chefs and top restaurateurs from all over the world to really create and curate a food and beverage offering that'll satisfy any and all cravings that your sailors may have at sea. So something that we do a bit differently than the traditional cruise line is we don't have any buffets or large dining halls. Um, all of our food is fresh made to order and you really can taste it. Uh, we have the freshest of ingredients. Uh, we're able to minimize our food waste, which goes big for our ethos of sustainability. But also we're able to accommodate a lot of dietary restrictions because we are freshly preparing uh, you know, your sailor's food to order. In fact, all of our restaurants and menus do have at least one vegetarian, one vegan, and one gluten-free option already built into them. But truly the best part about the food is all of our 20 plus eateries are all included. The food is absolutely exceptional, delicious, and uh, you have so much to choose from. So with our over 20 plus eateries, we do have six specialty dining restaurants on board. Your sailors do not have to pay an upcharge to dine at any of them. So this is traditionally where they're going to be dining at in the evenings. And some are open for breakfast, brunch, and lunch. So the wake is that iconic, gorgeous steak and seafood restaurant. This is where a lot of our sailors love to go to have uh, you know, any celebrations that they might be enjoying on board or just to really have that amazing, uh, truly exceptional steak and seafood experience. The Wake is also open for brunch as well. So something that I certainly recommend that your sailors also enjoy during their voyage. Gung Bay is the first Korean barbecue at sea. It is our most lively venue on board our ship uh, because your sailors may be seated with other sailors. We greet all of them with a complimentary shot of soju as well as play a fun little drinking game just to break the ice and kick off the evening. From there, they'll have a nice selection of Korean inspired noodles and appetizers uh, that they'll certainly wanna save some space because they'll have the ability to cook veggies, meats, and seafood right at that infrared grill on their table. Razzle Dazzle is our vegetarian forward eatery, providing the perfect blend of the freshest, most amazing veggies with your favorite comfort foods. But for all of our meat eaters out there, not to worry, we do have a special naughty section of the menu just for them that does feature dishes with meats and fish. Razzle Dazzle is open for breakfast, lunch, and a dinner and has some truly amazing items to enjoy. Extra Virgin is our modern, regionally inspired, approachable food that is deeply rooted in the Italian culinary tradition. So your sailors will have the selection of Italian-inspired appetizers, charcuterie boards. All of our pasta is actually made fresh daily, and you can certainly taste it. We've got those second entrees featuring meats like roasted chicken, uh, New York strip, pork cheek, and so much more. But your sailors will still need to save some room as we have an affogato cart, as well as Italian-inspired gourmet desserts. Pink Agave is our award-winning tribute to elevated Mexican cuisine with an unmistakably virgin flair. Known for vast options and rich flavors, dining in Pink Agave transports our sailors to the vibrant and colorful street scenes of Mexico City with beautifully authentic Mexican menu. We do have some really amazing drinks to pair with those small, medium, and large plates. Uh, we actually do have the largest selection of tequila and mezcal at sea. And last but not least out of our specialty dining is the Test Kitchen, which is our most unique and innovative and experimental dining experience on board. This is really where we pull back the curtain and give our sailors a look into our culinary operation. Instead of having a menu to order from, your sailors will have a card with six different ingredients, each of them corresponding to a main ingredient in one of the dishes that they're served. It's really uh, about uh, experience, education. Uh, your uh, server is going to really provide you uh, and take you on this culinary journey of 
you know, the different ingredients, maybe where they're sourced from and how they come together to really form the dish that you're experiencing. This is also very Instagrammable. It's very much about presentation, as you can see from this video. And if your sailors are foodies and they truly love this experience, we actually rotate menus so they can come back a little bit later in their voyage and have a completely different offering. In addition to our six specialty dining restaurants, we do have a lot of other quick style eateries scattered throughout the ship. My personal favorite is the dock, which is situated on the aft of the ship. So it's outside, not far above the waterline on the back of the ship. So this is where you can get a mezza cart of Mediterranean inspired appetizers. We have an open hour with even more Mediterranean uh, style uh, snacks to enjoy. We've got a pizza place that you can order your personal style pizzas, the Sun Club Cafe with poke bowls, and then uh, the galley is where uh, it's very much like a food hall. So there's different stalls that your sailors can order food from. We've got everything from salads, sandwiches, burgers, diner food, ramen and udon, tacos and burritos, bento boxes, pastries, and so much more. The possibilities are endless. So one thing that is guaranteed is when your sailors voyage with us, they are never going to be hungry. There is so much incredible food to be eaten um, and really a little bit of something for everyone in terms of dining. And all of our eateries are included uh, when your sailors voyage with us. So there is no upcharge to dine at any of them. Another big part of the Virgin Voyages experience is our approach to entertainment. We've actually swapped classic Broadway productions for exhilarating contemporary and immersive entertainment. Your sailors really have the ability to choose from a festival-like lineup of shows and happenings. The Red Room is our larger-than-life entertainment space and the first-ever transformational multi-form theater at sea. So we have immersive experiences for your sailors and never before seen stage productions that have been curated and created by, by our creative collective of producers, directors, choreographers, and writers. So all of the entertainment and shows that your sailors are going to catch when they uh, sail with Virgin Voyages are truly unique to our ship. So they cannot catch it anywhere else other than on board. We do have unexpected pop-up performances, a casino, karaoke, both private and public, an arcade, a social club, and so much more. There truly is a little bit of something for everyone. And we do have a fun little video that is also available for you to share with your sailors that just gives them a taste of what they'll experience uh, in terms of entertainment on board our amazing ships. That video is actually available to download along with a brand new beautiful PDF entertainment guide. So when you do get those questions from your sailors, we do have some really great marketing materials to help you really tell that story of what they'll experience in terms of entertainment. And so something else that we do have on board is our vitamin C SEA, our approach to health and well-being. So for those do nothings, the do somethings, and the do everythings, our approach to well-being is really to do whatever you'd like and whatever works best for you. With free group workouts and outdoor fitness spaces, we're really redefining how to take care of yourself at sea. Redemption Spa, as you can see here, offers the full amenities and treatments that your sailors uh, can book 
like massages and facials. We also do have a thermal suite where they can purchase a pass to that has a sauna, mud, salt, and steam rooms, hot, cold plunge pools, and marble hammam benches. All of our group fitness classes, everything from yoga, hit classes, spin classes, and so much more are free for your sailors. We also do have outdoor fitness spaces as well. And our uh, indoor facility, B Complex, open to your sailors where they can get that perfect workout at sea. So between our, so currently we do have three beautiful ships sailing. We have Scarlet Lady, Valiant Lady, and Resilient Lady. And Brilliant Lady is currently being built. So at the end of the day, we're going to have four beautiful and brand new ships. They are all identical in design. So the great thing for you is once you learn one of them, you've learned the deck plans to all four of our beautiful ships. Our ships are technically mid-sized ships. So at max, max capacity, we hold a little over 2,700 sailors. So we're really able to combine the best, best of both worlds. We're large enough that there are shows and happenings and there's so much to do uh, during your voyage, but we're small enough that the ship never feels overly crowded. Crowded. You don't have those long lines, truly that best mix of both worlds. So our first three ships are currently on sale through spring of 2025. And between uh, those ships, we have over 40 brilliant itineraries going to uh, over 100 different destinations throughout the Caribbean, Europe, Australia, as well as some great transatlantics and repositioning voyages. So Scarlet Lady is currently our ship operating out of Miami year round, offering those shorter four and five night voyages, which have been very popular for all of our sailors. And those will go to the Western Caribbean ports like Key West, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, Costa Maya, as well as Cozumel and Playa del Carmen, Mexico. But she is shaking things up a little bit next year. So she'll actually be taking over Valiant Ladies med itineraries in 2024. So they'll be swapping uh, spots. So she's got a great transatlantic taking her over to Barcelona. And then she'll be operating three different seven night sailings out of Barcelona going to ports throughout Spain, Italy, and France, all of which have a Friday night in Ibiza. Then during the winter months, uh, we actually just launched two uh, one-way voyages going from Barcelona to Athens and then Athens back to Barcelona around October of 2024. And then she has a sailing from Barcelona taking her to Rome on an 11 night. She'll be going into dry dock for a couple of weeks because she is a little bit older than she looks. So she is going to be approaching her five year mark next fall. And then once she's done, she'll be sailing on a 16 night voyage from Rome all the way to Miami. One thing that I can say is if you do have sailors that love those transatlantic voyages or they love those unique one way sailings, now is the time to start talking to them about these voyages because they do present some new and unique ports. They've been incredibly popular. We actually had a voyage back in September that sold out in three days. So certainly start those conversations with your sailors uh, before these itineraries sell out because they will. When she's done with her transatlantic next fall, she's going to be taking on those six and eight night voyages out of Miami through spring of 2025. Valiant Lady uh, just her, made her way over to the U.S. back in November, so she's currently operating those longer six and eight nine voyages. However, come January, she's going to be sailing down to San Juan while she'll be operating two different seven night itineraries to the southeastern Caribbean islands. She's going to be doing those itineraries um, through March, where she'll make her way back to Miami and then eventually take on Scarlet Lady's four and five night voyages. She essentially will be doing those voyages through spring of 2025, but we will have a couple of longer holiday voyage offerings in December of 2024. The unique thing about our, our voyages out of Miami, so that is Scarlet Lady and Valiant Lady, uh, when they're based out of Miami, is they do include a full day at our beach club at Bimini, uh, which is an extension of our ship. So all of the amazing food, all of those essential beverages, as well as all the activities at the beach club are included on us. It truly is the crown jewel of our Caribbean itineraries out of Miami. 
Now, Resilient Lady, we just launched her back in May out of Athens, Greece. She actually just arrived in Australia today where she is about to kick off her Australian itineraries and we have our Aussie Mermaiden to look forward to next week. So something that we're certainly excited about. So she'll be sailing out of Australia through spring of 2024 with a variety of two to 14 night voyages, uh, sailing to ports throughout Australia, New Zealand, and Tasmania. Once she is done, she's going to make her way from Australia up to Athens on three different voyages, a combined 44 nights, taking her from Australia to Singapore, Singapore to Dubai, and then Dubai to Athens. She'll be sailing out of Athens for a few months, going to ports throughout the Greek Isles, uh, Croatia, Montenegro, and Turkey on two different seven nights. And then she'll have some really unique itineraries um, out of the UK come September. So she'll have ports in uh, Amsterdam, Belgium, Spain, and France. And then she'll have a voyage that takes her from Portsmouth, UK to Barcelona. We have a sold out voyage from Barcelona to Athens, and then she'll make her way down to Australia on those same uh, incredible uh, repositioning voyages. So we certainly have a lot of voyages for your sailors to choose from. So some other questions that I get all the time is who exactly are our sailors? So really our sailors could could be anyone as long as they are at least 18 years of age or older since we are an exclusively adult cruise line. So our sweet spot, we do have a lot of sailors, 30s to 60 somethings. However, if you do have any outliers, uh, we certainly have a little bit of something for everyone. When I talk to first mates that have sailed and I've recently sailed, we've seen people upwards of 80s and 90s really just coming on board and having an incredible time. Because we love all of our sailors, uh, we really love letting our sailors, you know, be themselves and really reconnect with that inner child and just have a fabulous time on board. We do have a lot of experienced cruisers that sail with us, but we've also attracted a lot of new to cruise sailors as well. So we have a lot of multi-gen families coming on for family reunions, bachelor and bachelorette parties. We certainly had some on my voyage last week, anniversaries, birthdays, uh, friend trips, literally anything your sailors will find their home on board our beautiful ships. Um, and something that I get a lot because I do, I am based out of West Florida where we do have a lot of snowbirds is sometimes sailors wonder if they're too old to sail with Virgin Voyages? And the answer is absolutely not. There is truly something for everyone. Uh, you just have to have that young at heart mindset. If you love great food, you're going to have a truly incredible time. This is a video I do love to share our sailors um, to show that we have sailors of all ages on board our ship. Wanna see where I am? Look at this. Oh my. On a dream. We made it. So something that we've also attracted is a lot of people from all inclusives, even if they've never set foot on a ship before. I'm sure all, all of you may have those clients that love those land-based all-inclusives, but in the past couple of years, demand has been high, so their prices have been incredibly expensive. Um, and then you have to factor in airfare to some of those destinations. So we've started to attract a lot of new to cruise people that love those all inclusives because with our always included luxury, with our current bar tab promotion, we are as close to all inclusive as you can get at sea um, and just are providing them that incredible experience. So even if your sailors have never sailed before, you, know, you certainly want to talk to them about Virgin Voyages if they are not sailing with kids. But as Tyra mentioned, I know a lot of you do have questions on our groups program. So we're going to do a little bit of a dive into circles. So circles is our name for groups. If you say groups, we'll still know that you mean circles. So a circle is a minimum of 10 cabins booked on the same voyage. So there is no, uh, you know, cabin occupancy require requirements or cabin category requirements. It's literally 10 cabins, same voyage, you can form a circle. You can actually form a circle 
and add bookings to a circle up to 14 days ahead of the voyage starting. However, if you do have any programming requests, you want us to coordinate group dining or anything like that, I do recommend that you, uh, you know, start working on your circle sooner than later, just so we can coordinate those special requests with our incredible circles team. So for circles, your sailors are going to get some perks, and then you as the first mate will also get some perks. So uh, for circles, in addition to whatever your sailors, um, the promotions that your sailors may have available to them when they book, they're also going to get onboard credit for their cabin. So this is awarded on a per cabin basis for all bookings that are included in your circle. And this will be based off of the cabin category that they've booked into. So they can get up to $200 in onboard credit. Again, that is combinable with whatever promotions they may be eligible for um, when they booked. In addition to that, for you, our amazing first mates, we do give you the choice between one of two perks. So uh, you can choose to have a complimentary cabin. So for every 10 fully paid cabins that you book on that voyage, you can earn one free cabin on that same voyage. All you're paying is those taxes and fees, and you can have up to two sailors in that free cabin. Uh, there's not really a limit to how many of those you can earn. It's really just the, you know, how big you can grow your circle. Um, the great thing about those free cabins is it is up to you how you use them. So of course, those cabins can be used by you if you need to support your group and you want to sail with them. Um, you can also, you know, gift them to any of your associates that might be assisting you with this group voyage. Now, if you're in a situation that maybe you're booking like a bachelor or a bachelorette party, you're not besties with them, so you're likely not sailing with them, um, you can actually give that to your group leader um, as kind of an incentive to bring you, you know, enough bookings to form a circle. So it really is up to you on how you use that complimentary cabin. Now, the only thing with that is you, it is a free cabin, so you're truly just paying those taxes and fees. You or your sailors that are uh, being rewarded this free cabin would not receive the circle onboard credit and they wouldn't be eligible for any other promotional offers because they're essentially getting on board for free. So it is a really great um, opportunity and reward for them or for you. Now, if you have no need for that complimentary cabin, you're not sailing, you don't have a group leader that you want to gift this free cabin to, you can instead choose to receive a bonus commission. So the bonus commission is 2% of the total voyage fare for your group. Um, so this is paid um, within 30 days post voyage, along with uh, all of the other add-ons that your sailors uh, may have purchased for their voyage. So this is completely up to you. We do not need to know which reward you choose um, when you start booking your circle. However, when we get to uh, within final payment, our circles team will reach out to you just to check in to see, you know, what direction you're looking to go into. Now, the other amazing thing with circles is once you form a circle, it does open up the opportunity for us to coordinate on programming for your group. So our circles team is absolutely amazing. They can work with you to coordinate group dining. That is big because we don't have those large uh, dining halls or those buffets. Coordinating those larger groups, um, you know, if you're not in a circle, uh, you know, can often be quite difficult. So with group dining, we're able to coordinate, you know, either booking an early time, so like 545 to 6 ish or later, which is 8.30 typically or later. Um, and they can basically seat groups of 25 every 15 minutes. Uh, since you are dining in a restaurant venue, we just stagger that dining time just so we're not overwhelming our servers and wait staff. But we are able to uh, have your sailors dine in the same area. So this is something that is truly a, a great perk when you want to have those welcome uh, you know, dinners or those farewell dinners, or maybe you're coordinating like a a singles voyage and really the having that group dining is a really big deal every night. We are certainly able to do that and that is a really nice perk. Now we're also able to coordinate private shore excursions. So these do come at a cost like our shore excursions, but if you are wanting something that is coordinated just for your group, uh, we can work with our shore things team to kind of find and curate something that'll be best for your group based off of the port, 
based off the size of your group, as well as based off of their interests. We're also also able to, to coordinate private shore excursions. Um, even if you don't quite have a circle, we just have a little bit of a different process to do so. So if you do have those questions, certainly reach out to me and we can get that started for you. One of the most popular add-ons for a circle is cocktail parties. And I'll talk about that in just a minute, uh, but we do have a variety of options. Uh, for your sailors if they'd like a cocktail party uh, coordinated. And we do have a lot of out-of-the-box experiences as well. I feel like more than half of my circle requests that have come through are not quite that typical, you know, just sail together. They might have some special requests and programming. So if you ever do have any ideas, uh, you want to run that by me, um, or if you're not located in West Florida, you want to run that by your sales manager, you know, certainly schedule a time um, and we can talk through whatever questions you have, what kind of programming you're looking to put together, and can certainly escalate any of those unique um, experiences if it's something that we haven't done before. Now, um, cocktail parties are probably one of the most popular add-ons um, because if you're bringing a group of sailors on board, what nice way to kind of kick off the sailing or have one of those celebrations, you know, it's a nice way to, to have a cocktail party. So that does come at an additional cost. We do have options that you can book up one to three hours. And then you have the option of doing kind of a standard cocktail party, which would just be beer and wine with bubbles or we can add on beer, wine, bubbles, and spirits. Um, so that would be open premium bar uh, for whatever time duration. With the cocktail parties, we have one of two ways you know, of how your sailors will pay for them. They can be charged to each of their individual folios. Or if you have a group leader, I often see this when there's sailors that are bringing people together for maybe their 50th birthday celebration or their anniversary celebration, your group leader can also pay for the entirety of the cocktail party. It's completely up to you or the group leader that you're bringing on board. Again, something that we can certainly talk to and talk through with our circles team. Um, so that is really circles high level. What I always recommend doing um, if you do have those ideas, you're looking to coordinate something, um, get in touch with myself or your Virgin Voyages sales manager if you're not located in West Florida. And we can certainly strategize, you know, how to go about marketing your circle, you know, and how to go about kicking things off with your circle, as we do have a couple of different ways that you can start booking your circle. So high level, you can start with FIT, where you just book towards that same voyage date. Once you hit those 10 cabins, we can officially form your circle. You can still book into your circle once the circle has been formed. The other way is that when we're outside of final payment at 120 days, you do have the ability to hold a cabins without names and deposits for up to 30 days, as long as you're still outside of those 120 days from the voyage starting. After that circle shall hold period, uh, you can continue to book into your circle just at the prevailing rate. When we're within that circle shell, a 30 day period, uh, we, you can hold that inventory without names and deposits. We also lock in that base voyage fair pricing. So if there's any fluctuations in that base voyage fair price within those 30 days, we will honor the price um, of the inventory that what the, the price that it was when you originally held that inventory. Now, if we do have any promotions that impact price or any other promotional offers like our current promotional bar tab offer that change uh, within those 30 days, that could cause some changes in pricing because it doesn't extend the current promotion. However, we do protect that base voyage fare within those 30 days if uh, pricing does increase. So again, if you do have specific questions or want to talk about your circle opportunities, please reach out to me. We can certainly schedule some one-on-one -on -one time to talk through any uh, specific questions that you may have. We can also chat about, too, uh, coordinating a virtual cruise night. That has been a great way to really introduce circles if you are planning one to your group and really get things going. So... Um, we always strive to be brilliant to do business with and brilliant for you as well. So um, a lot of the resources are going to be found on firstmates.com. If you're not currently registered to do business with us, 
please go to firstmates.com and so you can register under your agency because this is where you're going to get access to our booking engine. This is where you're going to get access to training opportunities, our marketing library, and all the resources that you need to be successful in selling Virgin Voyages. You'll also gain access to Seacademy, which is our award-winning e-learning platform um, that you learn all things Virgin Voyages. It's so much more than I can cover today. Um, or even just in an hour presentation. And also you do earn perks as you progress through C Academy. The two most important modules, of course, getting through gold, that is the ultimate goal. Because once you get through gold, we have found that our first mates um, you know, are significantly more likely to make bookings once they've had that all of that training under their belts. So gold tier, that's going to get you access to FAM opportunities when we offer them in the future. You're going to get a one-time onboard credit that you can redeem for your personal voyage booked with first mate rates or a regular fare. And when we do have those special events, training opportunities in your area, we're always looking at those first mates that have gone through gold tier. Silver tier is also important because this gives you access to our first mate rates. So these are our travel advisor rates that'll get you on board at $100 per person per night. You can actually bring a guest along with you in your, your cabin with that same rate, plus the taxes and fees. So great way to get on board. There is no limit to the number of times that you take uh, you sail with those first mate rates when they're when we do have eligible dates available. Uh, really, just has to do with your schedule. So it is a great way to get on board at a reduced cost. Now, if any of you do live in the West Florida area, so everywhere from Naples to the Florida Panhandle, as far east as about Davenport, um, I'm likely your sales manager. So I do have a private Facebook group for our West Florida first mates. If you scan this QR code, um, it will take you to uh, that private Facebook group. So certainly something I recommend you joining because I will share updates specific to West Florida. If I have in-person training events, a contest, any content like that, uh, you'll also have the opportunity to connect with other travel advisors located in West Florida, where you can also collaborate and learn from each other. Now, if you are located out of West Florida and you're not sure who your Virgin Voyages sales manager is, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I will be more than happy to get you in contact with your sales manager, as many of them do have their own private Facebook groups as well. And they would love to talk to you about selling Virgin Voyages, building circles, and partnering with you to really grow your business, especially as we get close to wave season and kicking off 2024. So we currently have our December promotion going on through December 13th. So we are offering 20% off 2023 and 2024 voyages for our XLC Terrace cabins and below. We're also uh, offering up to $600 in free drinks. The amount will be awarded per cabin and based off of the length of the voyage. So if your sailors are looking at seven nights or longer, they're going to get $600 in onboard credit or sorry, in, in bar tab. For four to six nights, they're going to get $300 in bar tab. So this is basically what they're going to use for those premium drinks. Any drink that comes at a cost at our restaurants and bars on board, as well as the Beach Club at Bimini. If you do have sailors that are interested and they're on the fence, now is always the best time to book. As we are continually increasing prices as your sailors get closer to that voyage date. So even though we're introducing new promotions, we are raising prices. So it's always best to book now, especially with our bar tab promotion. Um, we are launching wave next week, um, but that bar tab promotion is going to go down. So um, now is the best time to book that they can get, you know, $600 in bar tab for their cabin for those voyages seven nights or longer. 300 for voyages four to six nights. And then if they're looking at those really short sailings out of the UK, one to three nights, they can get $125 in bar tab for their cabin. We also do have our Florida resident discount. So this is something that we have through December 13th. And this is for Caribbean voyages out of Miami that are booked within 45 days of the voyage starting. So this is for our Florida residents. You know, it's really easy for our Florida residents to have those last minute bookings. So if your sailors are really looking to sail between now and about mid-January out of Miami... Um, now is a great time to book because we do have that additional 15% off for our Florida residents uh, when they book by December 13th. Something else that will be swimming away um, 
at the end of the year to qualify is our sailing club. So our sailing club is um, our current loyalty program. So to qualify, your sailors either have to have a certain number of sailings under their belts, um, or the thing that I love to highlight, because you may have a lot of new sailors who've never sailed with us, so they don't qualify as a sea blazer or sea rover, but maybe they have an eligible loyalty status with another cruise line. So that's for our match and see more. Your sailors have to qualify by the end of the year to have these deep blue extras for their 2023 or their 2024 voyage. So this is currently our eligible loyalty programs that we are matching and getting into our sailing club. So we're getting them extra perks um, for their voyage. They do just need to make their first booking by the end of 2023 uh, because we do need to have a booking in place for them to submit their proof of loyalty. We do have a dedicated landing page uh, that is sailor facing. So you can say, share this with your sailors as well um, for our sailing club. And if your sailors do qualify as a sea blazer or sea uh, rover, so that, that means if they've sailed before and have enough voyages or they have one of these matching loyalty tiers, they can get these deep blue extras for their upcoming voyage. So we did extend this through the end of 2024 for those 2024 voyages as well. So look at expedited boarding, $100 bar tab credit, upgraded to unlimited premium Wi-Fi for our Caribbean voyages, dedicated sailor services team on board, an exclusive cocktail event, laundry service, as well as a $10 daily specialty coffee credit. So these are awarded per cabin. So only one sailor in the cabin has to have this matching loyalty tier, which is fantastic. And this is combinable with whatever promotions your sailors may be eligible for when they book. So certainly something, since we are getting into December, this is certainly something that you want to have those conversations when you have those avid cruisers that you think would be a perfect fit for Virgin Voyages. So that is actually all I have for you today. Um, um, and, and I wasn't sure if anybody had any questions or if we had time to answer questions. I have a question. Can you hear oh. me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm driving. So I have um, four cabins booked on a Greek cruise next year. Oh, I want to add... I want to add flights or uh, how do I go about doing that? What's your flight uh, flight program? So yes, we do have air program. I would recommend um, giving a call to our sailor services crew because um, that's just going to be the best experience in terms of um, looking into the available flights and getting them booked. So we are able to add flights to their reservation. So it all is kind of booked as a package through Virgin Voyages. Um, so they'll be able to provide you the uh, variety of flight options. And well, I know that we have a couple different fares. So I would recommend just giving our sailor services crew a call and they'll ensure that you're taken care of and getting those flights booked. Okay, thank you. Because I wasn't able to figure out how to do it online. So yeah, calling not, is the procedure. Yes, it, it's because it's right. And firstmates.com is not necessarily the best user experience. I always just recommend calling because they can also field any questions just with you know the different fare options and the different flight options as well. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. All right, any other agents have any questions? No? Okay. Um, well, we don't have time. Um, okay, if you guys don't have, let me check Facebook really fast. Anybody have any questions? All right. And while you're looking, Tyra, if you do have any questions, um, you're not sure who your sales manager is, or if I am your sales manager in Florida, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I can certainly answer any other questions, one-off questions you have, talk about circles, or get you in touch with your uh, Virgin Voyages BDM based off of where you live. All right. All right. So we don't have any questions in the Travel Asia Facebook group either. So um, if you guys don't have any other questions, um, if you don't have, you guys don't have any other questions for Miss Angela, I was taking a peek at the, the chat. Mr. Quita says thank you. Um, um, if you guys don't have any other questions for Miss Angela, Miss Angela, thank you so much for your time. And um, I cannot wait to hear about all of the other updates as they start to come out, especially that new ship. Yes, no, thank you. And just um, we do have our Monday sip that will be taking place next Monday at noon. 
we've got a lot of great updates and exciting updates coming next week. So if you're not part of our society on Facebook for First Mates, please join. Um, we do have our sales leadership that will be providing some exciting updates, spilling a little tea um, and, uh, you know, giving you some more updates that we can talk about next week. If for some reason you're not able to join that event live, you do have the ability to ask questions during the live presentation, but we will have a recording of that in our society that you can watch later, but certainly tune in next week. And thank you so much, Tyra and everyone for joining uh, today um, to learn a little bit more about Virgin Voyages. I hope to hear from uh, you soon and hope to see you on board sometime soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have an amazing name. It's Angela. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye.